Hi! Hello, everybody! Welcome to another episode. Today is story time with Yolani. Me, Gabe. We have a lot of magical, interesting things in this world. From Bigfoot to Loch Ness Monster, the Mothman. Yeah. But today, we're putting all those losers to the side. Take them all, put them in a boat, send them off. We, we, they, we know about them. Those are the They're only ones that I know. <laughs> those, are, those, are, those are lame. We're gonna touch something that's a little bit close to us, okay? I wanna talk about the New Jersey Devil. I feel like that guy's been around for a while too though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you Wait. excited? I'm excited. You're excited? I'm, I'm excited. To learn. We're going to do some history. We're going to do some fun facts. To begin with the New Jersey Devil, we have to start at the 7th century. <laughs> All right. Gabe, can you get our whiteboard? Yes, Capitan. Perfect. Let's get deep. Let's get deep dive. Seven. That is a dead marker. <laughs> Seven. Send. Don't look at it. Bro. <laughs> Seven. Send. T U R. What? What? You are. Just why? Century. Seventh there century. <laughs> I would like to bring us to the creation of. A little figmented creature, the Chimera. I don't know what that is. The Chimera was a figmented creature that was created within the Greek mythology. It is created with the body of a lion, tail of a snake, and for some godly reason, a goat head. <laughs> Between the... Oh, okay, there's a, there's a goat head body of a lion and a tail of a snake. So, no, 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 no. Lion head with body, tail of snake, goat head in between. Just, a, uh, just, just sticking st out. Stuck, sticking just out of the body. Sticking out. The goat head breathes fire. Yes, because of why it, would it not? It's because so, it throws you off. It goes, lion. Scary and like, and oh my god. Yeah, snake, spooky. scary, and poisonous. Whoa, oh my god. Whoa, I'm gonna go pet the goat head and yeah. then it fucking yeah. cooks you alive. <laughs> oh, also, this thing's like 80 feet tall. Mm -hmm. Chimera is a specific creature, but throughout the history and the lore of it all, like the word Chimera will be used to describe any creature that's a morphision of multiple other creatures. So if there's a bunch of animals together in one body, it's a Chimera. It's a Chimera. The Sphinx, we have the Jackalope, a rabbit with antlers of a, of a deer. Is a Jackrabbit a Jackalope? Or no. Okay. A, ja a Jackrabbit's its own thing. It's just a rabbit. It's just, it's real. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> From the 17th century up until like modern day, we could make chimera connections. Okay. I want you to take all of this. Don't worry about it anymore. Awesome. Don't I need worry to get it more drunk. <laughs> this video. Okay. Gonna... Now we're gonna do a jump skip over, over to the 16th century. We're gonna do a little history lesson now in New Jersey. Oh fuck yeah. yeah. So New Jersey has a massive body down in the south of New Jersey, known as the Pine Barrens, yeah. which was established within the 16th century, the creation of New Jersey. It's also where Tony Soprano goes to bury his bodies. Exactly. I was actually going to mention that. That is an amazing reference that there you just you did. The establishment of the Americas. We have the, I'm not going to drink your tea. I only um, drink coffee because it tastes like dirt. In New Jersey, we have a little family called the Leeds family. 1735 is our time period. Okay. When did America get started? I don't know. All right. 1776. So this, so is, this is prior. Prior to America. This is prior to America actually becoming a sovereign nation, which actually leads to the conspiracies of the New Jersey Devil. Now, the Leeds family is pretty much like the goats. 
Like they, have, they, they still exist today. They fuck goats. No. Well, at that time, maybe. <laughs> that, like, I'm not gonna judge. Hey, them man, at that you don't time. know what people do nowadays. Yo, man, like they were one of the originating families of the Pine Barrens area. That is in Galloway town. Shit. Now, Daniel Leeds, the head of the Leeds family, he's the mayor of this township. Okay. Daniel Leeds, what? Daniel uh, <laughs> uh. Leeds Galloway Township. His wife, Jane Leeds. That is that is a very unique way to spell Jane. That's, Hang yeah, on. I was like, what? <laughs> Dude, hold up. Sorry, Miss Leeds. We didn't mean to fuck up your name. We know you've been dead for 500 years, but you know it's all good. Hey, you know, like her grandkids. It's crazy. Like the Leeds family still lives in Galloway Township. Shout out to anybody that's like in the Leeds family. Hit Shout out to Adolf Hitler's nephews and nieces living in Long Island. Let me know. Wait, what? Daniel Leeds is the leader of the Galloway Township. Yeah. He has a whole township to look after. He's a busy man, but he is a devoted father. The problem is, Jane Leeds has 12 fucking kids. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. With no help of her, of her husband, because he's taking care of the whole colony. The Jane Leeds just became pregnant with her 13th child. From that baby counter. Oh, did she fuck a goat? Of 13. She fucked a goat, didn't she? Hold up. Our hats for this one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking my hat. <laughs> do you feel safer? I do feel safer. We're I gonna need. Like... We're gonna need these for a minute now. We're diving deep into conspiracy land. Okay. The no menu. radio waves are going through this fucking head. I should. I should be marking these off actually. I, I've, I've thrown both. The I've done. I've thrown both of the black markers that we've had. I have a third one here. <laughs> Place your bets in the comments below. Does Jane Leeds fuck a goat? Find out in the next couple of minutes. I think she fucked a goat. She was so spiteful about giving birth to this baby. She says, and I quote, make this one a devil. Meanwhile, Daniel Leeds is walking around town like, fucking got it going on, yeah, baby. Yeah, That's what's yeah. up, 13. <laughs> I'm fucking hard as a rock, bro. I'm raising the colony. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's making his own colony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one sperm shot at a time, dude. Boo, one boo, goop boo, at a boo, time. Boo. I'm gonna drive these bastards out. I got my own fucking colony. <laughs> <laughs> like an army of like Leaves. deformed like little kids <laughs> they with all, like they all muskets fucking... <laughs> and shit. Like, what happens next is fucking. Insane. <laughs> Based on that time, they said that she said that, and they were all like, "Hmm, mm -hmm. seems kind of witchy." She's g exactly. <laughs> we're burning exactly. her. Exactly. <laughs> That's actually like on the money, bro. Yeah. So like a lot of like the like the follow up stories of this time period yeah. mention her as like a Wiccan, mm. as like witchcraft. She could have just been like a pissed off mother. <laughs> right. Right. Baby comes out perfectly fine. Okay. Two minutes later, baby. Mm grows to be eight feet tall. Goo gaga. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Grows claws. Uh. <laughs> Horns. Bat. Wings. Horse. Body. Bro. Dog. Mouth. Face. Face, nice. <laughs> Horse. Head. This is a human baby. Yeah. You know what though? It was nice of the baby to wait until it was out before it grew eight feet tall. <laughs> yeah, at least I was curious enough. If you see, all this shit happens to it in like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then it proceeds to kill everyone. Including his mom. It, it, it kills, at least in this room, 18 people. Massacre combo. <laughs> So they all get brutally murdered. For sure. And then it proceeds to fly out the chimney. It's eight feet tall. That's a big fucking With chimney. Wings. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to draw your attention to an amazing documentary that I found. Uh, Anybody can find this. 
Is that a 30 woman, minutes more. Is that a woman more. in the middle of giving birth? Yes. Mother leads 13 child. Mm-hmm. Watch. The child of the devil! The miracles of childbirth. <sighs> Yeah. That's the sound of the Jersey Devil. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear what he sounded like? Hear it again. <laughs> 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 Menacing, I know. <laughs> <laughs> little stick. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. There's a, there's a song to it. That's the house. Call me a demon, this land. What I the fuck? I knew he was so talented. He's such a good singer. Look, like, there's Jersey Devil right there. That's Jersey. Why ain't he moving? What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it up. Breakdown, bro? Fuck it up. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Uh. And the wind blows. Oh, you hear that loot, bro? God, bro. And so, See, that was it. Hi, I'm Chris Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to show you that song. There's nothing really added to this song, but it was just like really fun. So, like, I, like, I got to listen to it. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Now you all get to now, listen now to it. Everybody gets to listen to it. And enjoy. Let's blow up this video, y'all. Yeah. There's 10,000 views. Let's give, yeah. it, let's give it a million. Let's go back to history. Jersey Devil. Mother Leeds. Dead. Daniel Leeds. Dead. Everybody. Dead. Damn, Daniel Leeds died? Daniel Leeds is dead. He, he was in the room. He killed, was in the room. Uh, he was... So where do we go from here? Why did you just ask me that question? <laughs> I don't fucking know. But where do we go, Gabe? <laughs> I've been what wondering is... about its dick for a while. You said... His dick? Yeah, you it said... It doesn't have one. It doesn't have a dick? It doesn't have one, bro. Body of a horse. So a horse dick. It's inside it. It's got a horse dick? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, wait. That would be the scary part. If you gave birth to a baby and it had a horse dick? <laughs> Holy shit! Well, well, I'm proud you of you, son. Not. There's a hockey team named after this. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> we can take our hats off for a minute. We're going back into history mode? We're going back into history mode, people. I would like to introduce you, my good friend, mm -hmm. to... Pineys. Chinese were runaway slaves. Moonshiners. Moonshiners. The Kennedys. This was way before the Kennedys. Bandits. <laughs> they were thieves. They were anybody really just like, like this, like bad, like at the time. So like runaway slaves, like you were considered a felon. Huh. You know what I mean? Moonshiners. You're a felon. Even nowadays, you're a felon. Even though we have great hit TV shows about it. Dude, I had moonshine from Tennessee. That shit fucking kicks you. Really? In the teeth. When moonshine was made, it was like illegal alcohol, so like it wasn't yeah. good. Yeah. So why the fuck is it popular? <laughs> they commodified like the most disgusting form of alcohol. Yeah, it's that hipster shit, dude. Yeah. You ever have um, Everclear? Not Everclear, Efren? No. Dude, you have to dilute it to drink it. Mm. You can't just like drink it straight. You will fucking like, your, your intestines will like, like melt. Nice. Runaway slaves. Runaway slaves, moonshiners, bandits, anybody illegals. These are pineys, okay? Cool. So there are a bunch of people that are like, okay, like, we're gonna be a town, we're gonna thrive as a town, but we're not going to, we're not gonna be part of the other towns. We're gonna do our own shit. Yeah, it's like uh, the pirates. Yeah, exactly, like, pi like Pirates Island, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Pine Barrens also is like a massive swamp land. Massive swamp, swamp land. Really? Yeah, huge swamp land. Okay. Look at swamps right there. In case you didn't know, swamps. What, swamps. 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 Swamps is a weird word. <laughs> it is a weird word. Swamp. Swamps. <laughs> Most of these people wouldn't want to abide the law. For sure. They wouldn't want to... The like, law of the British. Exactly, law of the British. The Pineys possibly has made the story of the New Jersey Devil to keep the British out. To keep the British scared from going into the land. That's the Jersey mentality, baby. Yeah, we baby. Fuck it up. That's why we smart. Remember when we talked about chimeras? I want to bring it all back now. Okay. Every group of people and that version. yeah has has like their creations. So like the Egyptians had the Sphinx. <laughs> New Jersey had the Jersey Devil. And also prior to that, we had freak shows. 
So like mm. the fish boy, yeah. you know, that's a chimera. Come see our wild horseman. Horse Come cop. Yeah, exactly. Wow, you're really onto this horse cop. <laughs> <laughs> Got to put hats back on. Tin foil zone. Tin foil zone. Because <laughs> we're because we're gonna be talking about eyewitness accounts, my dude. Oh fuck yeah! Whew. I got piss. Wanna go pee pee? Yeah. Hey, pee pee time. Sound guy, get this shit. Oh man. I saw Jersey Devil one time when I was doing peyote. So like, that's the thing. New Jerseyans like- Love peyote. They just love the devil. Like they <laughs> love- <laughs> oh, oh, who's fucking Don't calling me? Call. Hi, we're yeah. in the middle of recording at this very moment. She's in Jersey right now. We got great, we got great Taylor ham, egg and cheese over there. Did you see the Jersey Devil? Have you seen the Jersey Devil? I don't know what those words mean. <laughs> All right. Well, it's a hockey team. You should go. You should go see a game. Anyway, I love you. <laughs> Bye. Let's go to our first eyewitness account, mm -hmm. which was the best description that we've had okay. of the New Jersey Devils. Sure. This is going to be one of the more credible people. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be one of the more one of the more credible people who've seen a uh, fucking horse demon. <laughs> Hold on to your hat, boy. I'm buckled in, buddy. Joseph Bonaparte. Like Napoleon? Like the brother of Napoleon. The I brother think. of the Napoleon? The brother of Napoleon. This is what happens when you live in your brother's shadow. You just fucking say <laughs> shit to get attention. <laughs> <laughs> he took over all of Europe? Well, well, well I, fuck I, it. I saw the devil. Okay, so Joseph Bonaparte, the brother of the famous Napoleon Bonaparte, former king of Spain. For sure. Um was reported to have seen the devil. Question, why was he in Jersey? He was waiting on um, renovations on his house being done in Boston, in Philadelphia. Why was he in America? He was hunting game. Okay. When he got exiled, he got sent to New Jersey. He bought 800 acres there. Imagine getting exiled from France and being sent to New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was game hunting one day and he said that he saw the Jersey Devil. So apparently the way this described is that like Jersey Devil was just like staring at him. This guy got a fucking looking problem, He's bro? He's mean mugging him. Get okay? your boy, bro. That's what Bonaparte's like. Yo, Bonaparte looks at his boy. He's like, what's up with this? What's up? JD guy, bro. fucking staring me down, bro. Staring me down. Yeah, does he not know who I'm related to, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Bonaparte says he's going to like hunt for it. Nothing happens for it. Uh, Guess what? The Jersey Devil's not real. Oh, so, shit. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys seen the Jersey Devil? Comment down below if you've been to New Jersey. Who's the real one? Tell me where your been, favorite bagel spot is. Tell us where your favorite bagel spot is. Tell us where your favorite Taylor Ham spot is. Tell us where your favorite diner is. It's really where it's all at, bro. If you say fucking IHOP or Denny's, I'm coming for your throat, brother. Goldberg's. Oh, Goldberg. Goldberg's. Goldberg's fucking Taylor Ham diner, bro. Shit fire as fuck, though. You walk in there, there's a guy, there's a fucking Jewish guy and two Mexicans in the back. Get you some of the best fucking food you ever had in your goddamn life. They'll hook you up real fucking nice, real fucking salty. You get some fucking OJ and a black coffee. You walk out there, you bigger man. Now, this one's is a fun one. Mm -hmm. Now we got. Now we're gonna jump to the infamous pirate, Captain Kidd. I don't know who that is. You ever play Assassin's Creed Black Flag? Is that the one that's a woman? No, that's no, that's that's the other one. <laughs> oh yeah, the other pirate, the other famous pirate. Now they don't have any dates for this one. They have the 17th to the 18th century. At some point here. Some in between these 100 years, <laughs> <laughs> this happened. For some reason, he chose to bury his treasure in New Jersey. <laughs> the infamous Captain Kidd buried his treasure in Bargate in Barnicade Bay. Barnicade Bay in okay. Jersey. A uh, legend has it that he beheaded one of his people. Goddamn. And left the head to guard the treasure. That seems 
I don't know how much it's the decapitated just, head can have guarded. It. It's there. It's not guarding it, though. It's, it's just, just a fucking head. <laughs> now, the New Jersey Devil is best friends with the head. What? Yeah. <laughs> you don't just fucking go past oh, that no. casually, bro. No. The fucking Jersey Devil is best friends with a fucking decapitated head? <laughs> Accounts claim that the headless pirate and the New Jersey Devil became friends and were seen in the evenings walking along the Atlantic and in nearby marshland. They're like doing like a friendship, like sunset. Fucking hold it. The, <laughs> the second to last account I want to give takes place in 1909. This actually is takes place over the span of a week. Dude, this fucking tinfoil hat's kind of a fit. Yo, follow me on Instagram. I got the fits all day long. Look at this fucking shirt. Look at my tinfoil hat. I can show you the future of fashion, bro. You go out to Miami Beach, you wear a tinfoil hat, no radio waves going into your brain, and I promise you, you go in the water. Damn, B. It's like, like some of that has to get censored. Some of that needs to get censored, dog, okay? Holy shit. 1909. 1909. We have, a, th and now this is when we start getting like, like photos and news articles of the Jersey Devil a lot more. Mm -hmm. So within a week, an entire town reports a hundred sightings. The theory is that it's pretty much just like a mass hysteria kind of like situation that happened. fucking sightings. The news was only covering the Jersey Devil the whole, whole time. And this is where we get all like a bunch of photos, a bunch of eyewitness accounts, a bunch of stories from 1909. <laughs> Newspapers accounts during the famous week in January of 1909 took the story of the New Jersey Devil from folk belief to authentic folklore. Now we're going to jump over to 1964 for our last sighting Holy that I want to talk about. Holy shit, we got the Beatles. So the Beatles were around, the hippie love culture was coming up to play. This is when we start getting like actual like description yeah. of the New Jersey Devil. So what's it to say? Everybody drugs? was on acid. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Gary. It's a whack name. Yeah, I know. It's 1964, dog. <laughs> so Gary Plumeri. Gary Plumeri. Wow, that's, that's a fucking Dr. Seuss name, bro. Gary Plumeri went to the ferry to get over to England. <laughs> she was the one that made the account that I that I acknowledged earlier. So she gave us like our like first depiction uh -huh. that like allowed us to like visualize it more. For sure. The narrator of the documentary that she is fucking in. <laughs> <laughs> Gave us a completely alternate description of the goddamn thing. So this narrator's description came out in 2019. So this is the most accurate description we can get on this, okay? Dog head, horns, body like a kangaroo. Completely different. Yeah. Broad wings. Big out there wings. Like an oh. eagle. A reptile's tail. Oh my god. I'm very drunk. Okay. Oh, fuck. Jesus, dog. <laughs> the rest of the shit, normal. Fucking sharp claws, hooves, legs, razor sharp wings. For sure. Yeah. Razor, razor sharp wings? No, that was bullshit. You razor sharp on the wings? That is our now modern day depiction of the Jersey Devil. No horse body, kangaroo. Is it? Kangaroo body? Kangaroo body. Kangaroo. Talk. Where are we going from here? <laughs> I don't fucking know, bro. It's your video. I'm fucking <laughs> two, four. I want five, bro. <laughs> you figure this shit out. <laughs> this leads us to our debunking portion of the video. So you know what this means? Mm -hmm. Hats off. For the rest of the video, buddy. going back to real history. We're going back to real history. I do like these hats, though. So, what is the Jersey Devil? It's an icon. It's an icon. A decent NHL football team, if you will. A decent <laughs> NHL football team. <laughs> yeah. yeah I don't know. <laughs> what can the Jersey Devil 
actually be? What what are people actually seeing out there, it's Gabe? Probably a fucking deer. <laughs> You're close. So there's two ideas on what people, what historians think that the Jersey Devil actually is. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of them, they think it's a fruit bat. Fruit bat. Fruit bat. They could have a wingspan of five feet. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God. That's a big thing. I'm 5'9". That's huge. That's nine inches yeah. shorter than me. Yeah, Jesus. that's massive. What I really think, now this is my thing that I saw, and I think that this is actually way more interesting. The Great Horned Owl. Whoa. Now the cool thing about the Great Horned Owl is that they usually work around the winter time. Most of the Jersey Devil accounts and sightings actually happen during the winter time. Great Horn Owl can have a wingspan of five feet. It has horns. Like it, like it has the ears look like horns. So it automatically adds to like the horn description of the Jersey Devil. Sure. And it could carry up to 20 pounds. God damn. So it's a big fucking bird uh -huh. to just see this crazy looking thing with bright beady eyes in, the, in a tree somewhere. It's like, oh, it's a Jersey Devil. Or it's like, it's really just like, ooh, ooh. and that's it. Let's say you want to actually make sure the Jersey Devil never gets it and see. Let's make it. Let's say the Jersey Devil actually. Whoa. <laughs> Let's say you want to actually make sure the Jersey Devil doesn't fuck with you in the middle of the night. This is how you do it. You find a track of the Jersey Devil, okay? We all know what the tracks look like. They look like horse hooves. Horse hooves. If you live near a ranch, this might be a little confusing. The Jersey Devil is not a horse. You scoop the tracks into a jar. Leave that jar under bed. That's all you gotta do. Make sure the Jersey Devil doesn't mess with you. We have 10 fucking movie about the jersey <laughs> devil not including the countless documentaries God damn monster quest you know a whole episode oh god that is like so horrible there's a whole p s one video game it's like this lore is rich there's a, there's a vast community of people that love and cherish the Jersey Devil. It's a it's an astounding story, and it's all bullshit. <laughs> Gabe, after this entire adventure that we just went down, the rabbit hole, it's over. I We did it. Success. What are you taking away from this story, Gabe? I'm gonna go to the Pine Barrens mm -hmm. and I'm gonna find Captain Kidd's treasure. I'm bringing a crew with me of mm -hmm. at least five people. Okay. We got our metal detectors. We're gonna mm -hmm. find this fucking treasure. Mm -hmm. If the Jersey Devil fucks with us, I'm gonna get a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. And guess what's inside it? And put it under my bed because that motherfucker can't find me. Actually, when I was younger, no. I lived in Jackson, New Jersey, which is very close to where all this happened. And mm -hmm. I remember when I was a kid, I used to actually be scared of going outside. At one point, I was scared of going outside because of the Jersey Devil. It's a beautiful thing. I love lore from these little towns that blow up into something massive. Shout out to New Jersey. Jersey pride. We love New Jersey. Love we love Taylor Hammond. I'm a goal. I love oh, everything wait. about love it. the boss. Oh, oh, oh. The boss made a song on the Jersey Devil. Keep watching, guys. Subscribe. Follow us because very soon we'll be doing a video about another cryptid called Skunk Ape, mm -hmm. and we're gonna be bringing some friends along with us. Yeah, so you better be check that one. out. It's gonna be a stinky one. It's gonna be a stinky one. It's gonna be a stinky one. Yes, sir. All right, love you all. Did you guys like that video? You should think about subscribing to our YouTube channel. And our Patreon, where you can get exclusive content, videos a week ahead of time, and interaction with us. Thanks for watching, guys. Love y'all.